This video traffic report covers alternates on the 5 Golden State Freeway through the Newhall Pass and between the San Fernando and Santa Clarita Valleys. So the 5 through Santa Clarita is one of those freeways that drivers generally do not venture off of when there are trouble spots. But there are lots of alternates, which is a very good thing. The most obvious and closest alternate to the 5 is the Old Road, which runs parallel on the west side of the freeway. It's accessible from any of these off-ramps, actually starting way back up in Castaic, north of the 126. And you can take the Old Road all the way through the Newhall Pass. Now, the disadvantage of doing that, where, it, where the Old Road turns into San Fernando Road, is that there is no on-ramp access again until you get all the way down to Roxford Street here, exit 159. So usually you only want to use this when you know the traffic is really bad going through the Newhall Pass, basically between the 14 and the 210. As far as getting around the 5 through Santa Clarita and north of the Newhall Pass, there are several ways to get across the Santa Clarita Valley and over to the 14 so you can remerge with the 5 or vice versa, of course. The newest and widest road through Santa Clarita is Newhall Ranch Road. It's right off of the 126 exit, exit 172. If you take it across the valley, it leads to Golden Valley Road. You'll see the signs. It's a very, very easy turn once you cross Soledad Canyon. So Newhall Ranch Road to Golden Valley Road, and that takes you back to the 14. Another way, which is slightly uh, shorter, is taking Magic Mountain Parkway, which technically is State Route 126. Magic Mountain Parkway to Newhall Avenue, which, of course, used to be San Fernando Road for those of you who grew up in the Santa Clarita Valley, like I did, still kind of a new thing. In extremely rare cases, like after the Northridge earthquake or the 2007 tunnel explosion or during fire season, when the 5 is completely shut down, you'll have to do something really outrageous, like going all the way around the 126 through Fillmore, and then taking, oh, got to zoom out a little bit more there so you can see it, all the way out to the 126 to Fillmore, taking Highway 23 down to Moore Park and Thousand Oaks. Again, that is in absolute extreme cases, just as the other long, long alternate, if you're coming out of the uh, Grapevine or Gorman area, is to take the 138 across through the Antelope Valley and then down the 14 the entire way. Again, this the ne the necessity to use these long alternates usually once in every three, four, five years, maybe. Now, for afternoon drives, when you need to avoid the 5 getting out of the San Fernando Valley and into the Santa Clarita Valley, there are two common alternates. And the problem with that is that they are very, very well known. One of them is San Fernando Road. That's on the northeast side of the freeway. You can access San Fernando Road off of the 118, and that goes all the way up into the Newhall Pass. You can either continue where it turns into the old road or get back on the 5 or the 14. There's a convenient on-ramp right there underneath the truck bypass lanes. The other alternate to get out of the San Fernando Valley instead of using the 5 is Balboa Boulevard. That's also accessible from the 118, although it's a little bit further west. Balboa Boulevard, then dead ends at San Fernando Road, and you can get back on the 5 or the 14 same way as with San Fernando Road itself.